For those of you looking for a thrill this summer, well, roller coasters are always a sure bet. But just how safe are these high-flying, gravity-defying machines? A recent NJIT study looking at the possibility of getting a brain injury from riding a roller coaster asked just that. NJN News Health and Medical Correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. New Jersey amusement parks like Six Flags Great Adventure and Wildwood are major attractions for all sorts of people. For thrill seekers, the rides deliver, especially the giant roller coasters. They get the heart pumping and the adrenaline racing. I liked it. I had a lot of fun. But there's no question that these rides can leave you feeling shaken up or dizzy. I liked it, but my head really hurts. For years, some people have even speculated that the gravitational force of roller coasters could cause traumatic brain injury, or TBI. In a recent study funded by the National Institutes of Health and supported by Six Flags, Dr. Brian Pfister, a biomedical engineering professor at NJIT in Newark, set out to challenge these theories. So what we wanted to do is, is we wanted to take what these anecdotal reports were telling us and really take a look and seeing if what they were claiming was actually true. Using an in-mouth monitoring device, Dr. Pfister measured the brain movements of a female, a male, and a child while riding three different types of roller coasters. Then he compared them to the movements that occurred while people took part in other activities. So what we found was is that roller coaster movements in the head were similar to what you might see in a pillow fight, what you might see in a five mile an hour bumper hit. According to Dr. Pfister, the G-force involved in riding a roller coaster isn't nearly enough to harm the brain. It all depends on the other circumstances, how your head is moving, how long it's moving, how far it's moving. Granted, Dr. Fister's study is small, but he believes that when it comes to riding roller coasters, fans and their families can enjoy the rush without worrying about alarming consequences. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Jackson.